Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the cards first and kind of like the messages that are coming through before I forget. And then I'll go back and talk to you about the image that I saw when I was shuffling, okay? So I feel like the um, overall theme for this spread is all about saving the best for last, okay? It's about like something lost and found, something coming back around, and you thought it was, you know, dead and buried, like um, nail on the coffin. You thought it was gone. You thought it was done. You thought it would never come back into the fold. But for whatever re reason, it's making a resurgence. It's making like a reemergence in, into the picture, and it's coming in in a very unexpected way, okay? And so hopefully if that message resonates with you guys, let's talk about the energy here. Um, what I'm feeling is for many of you, there's a work situation where it's very adrenaline driven. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like with a lot of fire signs in general, we thrive on a little bit of chaos. Okay, what that means is um, we need a little bit of fun, a little bit of unpredictability, a little bit of excitement in order to feel alive. Okay, we need a certain amount of unpredictability in order to feel um, passion, in order to feel, I guess, like um, that, that sense of excitedness. Mainly because if things are so stable and so unpredict uh, and so predictable and so bland and so vanilla, we tend to lose interest very, very quickly. And um, I feel like in the work environment, there's this energy about, you know, organized chaos. OK, there is a system in place, but for whatever reason, things don't go the way that they're supposed to. And what I feel is it's the environment. It's like there are too many pieces of the puzzle that needs to perfectly align and fall into place in order for the, the whole machine to be greased and to be functioning properly. So I feel like there's a work environment here that other people from the outside looking in might consider dysfunctional. But from your perspective, because you're in it, you understand and you guys are really, really good at seeing the big picture. You guys are really good at being able to make predictions as well. And because you're in it, you see the big picture and you're just like, oh, you know, um, it's not dysfunctional. It's just all of these actors have to be perfectly in alignment. All the stars have to align. All the pieces have to fit in order for the machine to be, you know, functioning properly. And so you're very understanding. You're making concessions. You're doing your best. And I feel like on good days, it feels almost like you're the, 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 like the, the fire extinguisher. You put out fires, you avert crises, you get things done, and you're really, really proud of yourself. And then on bad days, you know, you just feel drained. You just feel like frustrated. But I also feel like, you know, that, that sense of lack of predictability, it keeps things interesting. And so you stay in it. Okay. But I feel like that there's a, a situation where it stirs your adrenaline. It gives you a little bit of an, an uh, adrenaline rush. And so you are more like um, equipped as a fire sign and as the, the sign that sees the big picture, you don't see the dysfunction. You do see it and you see the best in, in the situation. And that's why you're more well equipped to deal with the situation, to handle whatever curveballs the universe throws at you and to make the best out of the situation. Whereas other people that are a little bit more inflexible, a little bit more rigid, a little bit more regimented, they absolutely hate whatever is going on in that work environment. And they would not last, you know, five minutes in your shoes. And so, I see a Sagittarius, if you're dealing with this, I see you kind of walking around, kind of patting yourself on the back. You know, you, you've done a really good job and I feel like you've kept your cool, you've kept your centered. Um, and I, I feel in a way, it's it's almost like you're, 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 you feel really good on those good days. 
you feel like you're on top of the world you feel like you know i i've done it i i'm a master at this but then on bad days i feel like it does dampen your self-esteem a little bit okay so i feel like there are definitely more good days that will be coming in to kind of balance the situation out so right now the lows are a little bit lows but you're still you, you've surpassed that learning curve i feel you've surpassed it okay so right now it's just trying to get the pieces to fit you see the big picture you know where things are supposed to go you know what you're supposed to do you know what your role is you know what people expect of you you know what to expect of the environment so like you you've already surpassed that learning curve so right now it's just trying to find the most optimal routine or the most optimal system or the most optimal way of doing so that it can mitigate the lack of predictability in that situation the, the instability or the the uh, yeah the lack of predictability in that situation so we've already overcome a huge hurdle and so right now things are going to start to balance themselves out there will still be lows in the work environment but it's going to gradually you know balance itself out some days you will feel really on top of the world and those days are going to be a lot more frequent in the future Right now, you're still going through this, you know, am I capable? Am I good enough? Am I am I doing things the right way? And I feel like there might have been some feedback, some some situation, some um, information, or I, I feel like feedback, feedback from other people that weren't expected, but they're very welcome because um, you don't take things personally. If somebody tells you, hey, um, can you do this differently next time? If you're still in that learning period, you're not going to get offended and you're not going to feel like, oh, they're singling me out. No, I feel like you're humble enough to say, you know what, I'm still learning. This is uh, good for me to get the feedback from the people that have been you know, doing it for a long time. So I welcome the feedback. And so I feel like because you're like this, that you're able to learn a lot more than other people who are a little bit more closed off, who, are, who get a little bit defensive, or who get a little bit indignant whenever they have uh, constructive criticism or whenever they receive something and they're just like, I didn't do anything wrong. So they're not able to accept responsibility. They're not able to humble themselves and just, you know, um, admit the sheer fact that, you know, I'm new at this. And I still have a lot to learn. So I feel like your 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 energy is really open, okay? And that's that's very good. And so whatever is um, coming back around, okay? Like I said, saving the best for last. Whatever is coming back around, it's a learning experience, okay? If we didn't do it the right the first time, it comes back around. We fix it. We move on with our lives. We don't need to get indignant. We don't need to get defensive. Um, and I feel like other people around you are getting that way, but Sagittarius, you get past it, you move past it, and you don't let it fester, okay? And that's one of the amazing, amazing things about you guys. And I feel because of that, you're able to overcome multiple hurdles because you have that institutional knowledge, you learn from past mistakes, you move forward, and you don't take things personally. Whereas other people, they let those things fester and then it becomes major, major setbacks and hurdles that they can't overcome on their own. And so I see you leaving people in the dust. I see you making great strides and I see you advancing. And the card that shows me this, we have here the Wheel of Fortune, okay? And then we have here the Justice card. When it's in the reverse, it usually indicates to me like having to revisit a situation, especially if it's in a work environment, if it's a situation where you feel like I don't have all the knowledge to make this really important decision. And I feel like, you know, you could be dealing with a lot of contracts, a lot of legal issues. You might be dealing, making really big decisions that can affect somebody's financial situation or somebody's, um, livelihood so you're making big big decisions you're in charge of really really important responsibilities and because you understand the, the the gravity of the situation the weight of it on you you're trying to learn the best ways to do it the best ways to manage it and as well the best ways to 
kind of like take do things properly correctly so that you don't you know screw anybody over because the last thing you want is for you to make a mistake and have somebody else you know deal with the ramifications of that and so you're not looking at this as you know i'm living in an island i'm all to myself you're living your life as if everything that i make every decision that i make everything that i do it has real life consequences and so i'm going to humble myself and i'm going to take all the feedback that i can get so that i can do things better so going back to this image um that i saw when i shuffle out the cards i see this man on a cliff okay he um might have been hiking he goes up to on a hill and then he's like at a, a a mountain he's at an edge of a cliff and then he wants to sit down have a little bit of a rest and uh, drink some water so he sits down and there's this piece of plastic it looks like plastic and it's kind of curved so he was just like oh i'm just gonna launch it off this uh, cliff so he throws it off but because it's curved it's kind of like a boomerang it comes back around so he throws it and then it comes back around and hits him in the back and it's a flimsy piece of um, plastic so it didn't hurt him but then he's very very surprised that it, it comes back around and so what i'm seeing here is there's something that we might have you know dashed off or sent off into the world and we you might have been pressed for time and now it's coming back for you to kind of like deal with the second time around okay with all the, all the knowledge with all the expertise with everything that you've learned about yourself and about the situation and about how to improve things you have a second chance to fix things and i feel for many of you it's very much work related is what i'm sensing you're still growing you're still expanding you're past that learning curve and you're going to move forward once you you know learn from past mistakes and then i also feel for many of you this is a love situation that's coming back around um, for you to fix okay i see two signs in the picture the first sign is a water sign i have here the ace of cups in the reverse and then i have an air sign um, ace of swords in the upright position and the reason why I think these are people rather than, you know, the, the aces, just like indicative of an opportunity, mainly because they're right next to each other. And I'm actually seeing people coming out. I feel like there is a water sign, very strong, predominantly water sign, somebody who's very expressive, very verbal with their feelings. You always know how they feel about you. Um, a lot of the times, too, uh, when a Sagittarius deals with a water sign, water signs might be a little bit too... Um, you, you can get easily annoyed by them. First of all, they're indecisive. Secondly, they're kind of an emotional windbag, okay? They like to talk about how they feel all the time. So like if you've had a bad day, you go home and you just want to, you know, uh, watch TV and just tune things out and just not have to uh, engage your mind. They might sit down next to you and they might tell you, you know, everything that that happened uh, throughout their day. And they, they might tell you about how they feel and it can feel very, very heavy. OK. And then for, for you guys, if you're dealing with an air sign, so this is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, the energy is very dynamic, it's very fun, it's very lighthearted. You guys can tease each other, no one gets hurt. You guys can, um, what I'm seeing is, you know, like the flirtation is very, very automatic. It's very instinctive. It's very spontaneous. And if, even if you don't talk to each other for like, you know, weeks and months, when you contact each other, when you um, talk to each other again, or when you see each other again, it's as if that time, uh, that, that distance, the time, it, it, it's almost as if you can easily pick up where you left off and that, that time apart, the distance apart didn't even happen. And so there's a situation here where I feel like someone can be very, very emotionally draining. And then another person can be very, very stimulating, very stimulating. 
And so you might have two people who are in the picture for you. And I'm, I'm almost feeling like you have some unfinished business, the world in the reverse, things haven't gone full circle yet. Things are not done and, and, and cast away yet. In the reverse, it means unfinished business. It means returning to a situation. And it also means, you know, returning to find some type of a closure or this person has not yet moved on from you. And there's some unfinished business that's still in the picture. I feel for many of you, there's some guilt surrounding this situation so if you're dealing with that water sign pisces cancer scorpio or the air sign aquarius gemini libra i don't know why but i'm feeling some guilt if there's some unfinished business if there's a situation where you feel like you know i never got to tell them the truth i never got to tell them that they might be a little bit too emotionally demanding of me and I'm, i wasn't ready rather than telling them that i just cut them off and they never got an explanation okay and then the guilt if you're dealing with another person who's already in a relationship there might be guilt from your end like yes the conversation is very stimulating yes the conversation is can you know air on the side of flirtatiousness and so there's some guilt associated with some type of an interaction between you and another person Okay, um, either way, there's an opportunity coming back around for you to kind of like iron out the wrinkles to kind of, um, and this is a, a Sagittarius thing too. When you guys feel things really heavily, you guys kind of sweep them under the rug or you kind of, you know, shake it off. So then it, it's almost like shutting it off or shaking it off and pretending like it doesn't affect you or pretending like it doesn't make you feel a certain way or i'm also seeing keeping yourself very very busy so you don't feel things okay that's your form of escapism water signs they might retreat to you know alcohol drugs art music whatever it is but I feel like for you guys, it's more about keeping yourself so busy so that you don't feel, so that you don't have to think in an emotional way, so that you just, you know, do things and keep yourself engaged and keep your mind off whatever it is that is um, demanding your attention because you don't want to be stuck feeling things. So there's a situation here where I feel like you hadn't properly resolved and there's a situation here where you feel like you haven't gotten the closure or you feel like you didn't give the other person the closure it's coming back around there is going to be communication okay i feel as well somebody's coming in and they're going to give you an apology so what the universe is telling you and i feel like the universe tells us things through the major arcana cards this is what's coming through i have here the um strength card and this is sort of like, you know, be prepared, don't give up and fortify yourself because there's going to be some really important communication coming through. Ace of Swords, truth, awakening, realization. And just honestly, I feel like it's, it's total honesty that's going to be coming into the picture. I have here an air sign, Prince of Swords. This is the Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra coming into the picture. And I feel like there's either an apology coming through from this person, or this person is snapping out of their funk. Four of Cups. This is sort of like, you know, this woe is me type of a card. They've been through some things and they're coming back around because they're seeing your worth. They're seeing the contributions that you're really adding to their life. And so if you've been, you know, waiting on communication, waiting on the situation, waiting for some type of a closure as well. Uh, they're coming in very, very, very unexpected. So I'm, I'm feeling like some of you might um, leave your phone on silent, you're at work. They call you like four or five times and then they finally realize you're not picking up and they leave a voicemail. And then you might have to do a little bit of like phone tag, okay? And then for others, I feel like um, if you cross paths with this person a lot like for example if they're in your work environment 
、um, I feel like they might catch you when you're on your lunch break. They might try to, you know, pass your your desk, pass your office,、uh, pass your workstation area, and then you're not there. So if you do leave for you know a short period of time, you need to put up like a, a a little note, like I'm on lunch, I'll be back, you know, whatever time. Or I just feel like you know you you want to be accountable for times when you're away from your desk. That way they can find you. So I I feel like they're coming in,、um, and this might be an issue in the past where your the timing is just not right. Okay, like you're busy and they're free and they they want to talk to you, but you're super busy and you couldn't communicate with them, or you're free and you're trying to communicate with them and they're not available because they're so busy, and then you feel like they're ignoring you, and then vice versa, when they shoot you those messages and you're occupied with serious stuff too, I feel like you guys are dealing with some serious things, and they feel like you're ignoring them. And so the timing was just never right, but I feel like there's something coming into the picture that will allow the time and the energies to kind of align. Okay. It's it's like you've already passed that learning curve. It, you've already overcome that major hurdle. So right now, it's just gonna take some time for things to kind of fall into place. So be very patient with it. Okay. Uh, whatever means you've been do- using to keep yourself busy, to keep your mind off of other things, other things that you feel like, oh, that's frivolous. You know, it's never gonna happen. It's frivolous. Keep doing that because while you're immersed in that, and while you're like focusing solely on that, you're not trying to control everything else, and you're allowing the universe to kind of take over and control other elements because you're fixated here on building wealth, on working on your reputation, on working really hard, on trying to do the right thing. And I feel almost like you're getting that pat in the back from the universe, telling you that you know you you are doing the right thing. You're relinquishing control. You're letting us take over, and we're going to make the situation right in the best way that we feel is going to be. I guess、um, more in alignment with your energy. Okay, so whatever you've been kind of pushing for in the past, because you were impatient, because you wanted to have a specific outcome, now it's time to kind of like relinquish control and let the situation just automatically fall into place. Okay. So Sagittarius, I hope the reading is still helpful for you guys as you navigate the past few days of this month.、Um, This has been a really difficult month for a lot of signs, but、um, I'm really glad to see this for you. Hard work pays off. Okay, hard work pays off. Perseverance always pays off, and then hard work and perseverance, when it goes hand in hand, it always, always, always pans out magically. So, best of luck with everything. I'll talk to you guys soon. And、uh, for those who are still emailing me about private readings, I'm no longer doing those, but I do have somebody that I highly recommend. She is a psychic. Her name is Bridget. She is based out of California. If you'd like to book a reading for yourself or for anybody that you think would be、um, would benefit from a spiritual reading, I highly recommend her.、Um, I've included a link to her scheduling website in the description box below. So, if you like a reading, I I just can't、uh, gush enough about her. Okay, so take care. I'll be back in March, and I'll talk to you guys soon.